Hi guys, this time we moving forward we're gonna do cylinder wall honing and I'm gonna show you how you can do it at home with basic tool you're gonna probably get on internet it's not pricey so you can do it yourself but before you're gonna do that you want to remove that spraying nozzle which is spraying oil under your piston to cool it down and lubricate so you can hone with this you, you might just damage that you can bend it so one minute to remove that They have no uh, no seals, any gasket around. They just are pushed in and secured with bolt. So what is honing? Honing or deglazing is the process of roughening these uh, surfaces of the cylinder walls. So the piston rings can uh, match or uh, seal properly. I'm gonna show you an example. So basically let's pre pretend that your cylinder wall is pretty rough after uh, after uh, deglazing or honing and this is the surface, surface of your new piston ring which is not even of of course this is a microscopic uh, like a close up so what's happening you have to hone uh, the cylinder walls so these surfaces gonna match together and they're gonna create perfect seal so what you're gonna do if after honing when you engine gonna be uh, running for at least like a thousand mile, thousand miles uh, uh, with specific uh, procedures. You can't just rev up and do redlining all the time. You have to keep your engine quite uh, on uh, quite low uh, RPMs, up to probably 2,500 not more. So what's gonna happen? These two surfaces gonna grind together to create smoother uh, contact and they're gonna seal properly to do that you just need a tool which is called a honing tool and what is it is like a, a spring uh, loaded uh, Free arms with stone, with stones, and you just need to insert that in the bore with your. Uh, probably you want to use a impact or a cordless drill or something uh, with probably about 1,200 to 1,500 RPMs some lubrication it doesn't have to be any specific lubrication it's just light oil and what you do you're doing quick movements up and down with uh, full revolution up to 1500 rpm so uh, also also your stone the guy in machine shop told me use a uh, fine stone and do a light hone so probably 10 strokes I down and it should be fine what you need to do lubricate the walls and here we go ok 
can check each time you're doing this is it rough of course the stone gonna leave uh, some dirt like sand so you want to wipe this down it's quite rough we can do more depends on the application what you're doing I'm gonna do it more yep it's pretty rough so probably 10 to 15 times up and down and the cylinder wall should be prepared for new uh, rings so when you finish with this start doing second third up to six um, depends how many uh, cylinders you have and it has to be done each time you're changing the piston rings for better seal and performance when you do all the cylinders you have to take the block for proper wash because you can't leave that sand after uh, honing on the walls because that's gonna create contamination it's gonna cause quick wear on the piston rings on the cylinder walls it's gonna contaminate your oil and cause more damage than actually any good so you're gonna take your block if you do it this at home you're gonna take it for wash like tap water with the hose and like a clean cloth with a dishwashing liquid and you have to wash that long as as that uh, sand sand is still on the walls if you're not gonna see sand after cleaning uh, that's good you you can proceed uh, further with uh, rebuild so need that sand needs to be removed when you finish honing and cleaning the block you can install back the spray nozzles what you can do you can uh, blow some compressed air through these small hole holes so any any dirt any crap gonna come out and you can put them back it's recommended to use a uh, thread lock on on these bolts so you're gonna use your thread lock I'm not using it because I like I said before I'm not rebuilding this engine I'm just showing you how to do it